hello in this video i'll teach you how to find the missing number in a given array so let me first explain the question so we will be having some value say n as 6 this is the input and we will also have an input array of size n minus 1 so if n is 6 the size of the array will be 5 and what this array will have this array will have five elements one two three four five this array will fi have five elements and those elements are n is six right so the values will be from one to six it will be one two three four five six from this six values any five will be present over here let me repeat from this six values any 5 will be present over here and the one which is missing is the number which we have to find let's say this array has 1 2 3 5 and 6 so you can see we have excluded 4 this is the number which is not present over here among this 6 numbers we have 5 numbers over here and this is the number which is not included and this is what we have to find this will be a output we will say that 4 is the number which is missing from this array. So now let's discuss the logic how we will do it. So let me give you another example. So if say n is 5, what are the possible numbers in the array? It will be from 1 to 5. It will be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. These are the numbers which will be present in the array. right? What will be the size of the array? It will be 4 and let's say the array has values 1 2 4 and 5 so you can see that we have excluded 3 over here and this is the missing value so how we will find this very simple approach is we are going to add all these things we are going to add all this and also we are going to add all this if we add all this, what will be the result? It will be 5 plus 4, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15. So the value is 15. What if we add all these? It will be 1, 3, 7 and 12. So here we are getting the answer as 12. If we subtract 15 from 12, that will be 15 minus 12. It will give you the answer 3. And you can see that this is the missing value. Let me give you one more example. Let's say n is 6. What are the possible values? The possible values are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So the array size will be 5. And let's say it has the values 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So we have excluded 1. So now let's find the sum of these. What will be the sum of these? It will be 6, 10, 15, 18, 20, 21. The value is 21. So now let's find the sum of these. It will be 6, 10, 15, 18, 20. The result is 20. Now if you subtract these two, 21 minus 20, it will give you the result as 1. And you can see this is the value which is excluded so this is how we are going to find it so if we have n as 6 we are going to find sum of n terms so we have a formula for that it will be n into n plus 1 by 2 so you are going to find the sum till n numbers and this number we will subtract from the result we get after adding all the contents of the array. So we will call it something like this. Sum of the array elements. So the result which we will get is the missing value. Missing number. So now let's write the program.
so we have the input n as 6 and we have an array of 5 elements and in this we have excluded the number 2 and 2 is the missing number and which we have to find so now let's find the sum of n numbers so n is 6 over here let's create a variable called sum of n numbers so let's call it sum n and it will be equal to n into n plus 1 whole divided by 2 so this will give you the sum to n numbers this sum which we calculated right now we have to find the sum of the elements inside the array for that we will use a for loop use a simple for loop so we need one more variable to store the sum of these elements so i'll create it over here let's call it int sum equal to zero so now i will add sum equal to sum plus the value presented ith index so once this for loop is done i'll have the variable sum which will be having the sum of all the elements in the array now what was the last step we have to subtract the sum to n elements and subtract the total of the array so now let's call it as missing value and it will be the sum of n minus sum and now this will have the missing value and let's just print it so that's all if you learned something from this video please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel thank you